In this video, you're going to learn how to create this molten 3D crumb type effect on any sneaker of your choosing. For this video, I chose the New Balances. The tools we'll be using are Adobe Illustrator and Blender 3.0. If you want to learn how to make this, just keep watching. So the first thing we're actually going to do is go ahead and go to sketchfab.com and find a already pre-made 3D model of a sneaker of your choosing. You can just look up sneaker on the search tab and a whole bunch of different downloadable options should be available. Um, this is just me looking for a sneaker of my liking. Um, just beware that they do have the texture mapping so that you don't really have to do much but design the molten chrome part of this. And usually I feel like the most reliable file type for texture mapping is GLB or GTL. So whenever I choose a model, I go ahead and download it within that file type. I go ahead and import that to Blender by going to file import GLB and it should pop up. Uh, I can't see the texture mapping because I'm not in the viewport shading or render preview option, but I changed it quickly so you can see it. It looks really good. You can zoom in and see in a lot of the detail. So at this point, I'm ready to go ahead and screenshot this and bring it over to Adobe Illustrator so I can work on the molten design. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and grab the pen tool and trace over the N New Balance logo letter mark. After that, I grab the curvature tool and I start creating the actual molten bubble shapes. Um, this is all up to you what you want to do with this specific sneaker. I wanted to go with the natural curves of the sneaker and just wanted it to look as if it was dripping off of it, like a separate attachment. So that's exactly what I did. I finished the final design, so I went ahead and exported it by going to file export as, and I make sure that it's an SVG. Back on Blender, I'm just gonna hide the sneaker real quick to import the, the stuff I just made on Adobe. So I go to file, import SVG and I go ahead and import that file. It's probably going to be very small. So I just highlight everything and press S on my keyboard to scale it up and RX 90 on my keyboard to rotate its axis 90 degrees. Once I did that, I went ahead and aligned the molten and the letter as best as I could to the sneaker as well as sized it up or down as I saw fit. And as you'll notice it won't go completely flush to the sneaker because one, you haven't added an extrusion and two, um, it's not going to be flush right away because you designed it in a 2D scale. So now that we're 3D, there's depths and there's curves. So we're going to go ahead and adjust that later on when we're in sculpt mode. And before we do that, I'm going to go ahead and add an extrusion by going to the data object properties tab and within the geometry subsection, I click on extrude. Um, for this part, I would suggest not to extrude it too much because you are going to be adjusting this further in sculpt mode. So the more extrusion you add, the more you're going to have to like shape is what I'm trying to say here. We're gonna go ahead and get these objects ready for sculpt mode. So I'm starting with the N and I'm converting this object to a mesh. And then I'm going to the modifier properties tab and I'm remeshing it. I'm using smooth for this. And then I apply this. And you're gonna go ahead and do that to the other object. Once that is done, you're gonna go ahead and go from object mode to sculpt mode.
and I'm going to go be using the inflate tool, the smooth tool, and also the grab tool to adjust it further. And here I'm just showing you how I use the grab tool um, to make the object that I imported more flush to the sneaker. I feel like this makes it look more realistic. Um, so I kind of just like push it inwards towards the sneaker because we're not really going to see the inside. So it doesn't really matter. So now I wanted to just add a material. Uh, so I slid that window open and I converted this into a shade editor tab. I removed the existing material and I added a new material. And I was going for a molten chrome type of vibe. And if it's blurry, just right click your mouse and um, smooth it out. And now I moved on to the bigger object. As you can see here, this is what I was talking about earlier, where I used the grab tool and I position it um, more accurately on the sneaker. Because as you can see, some of the parts are like sticking out because I didn't make the design on a, 2D, on a 3D object. I made it on a 2D object. So I'm kind of like hugging it to the sneaker with that tool. And I'm just going to go ahead and go over it with... The inflate tool and the smooth tool as well just like i did with the end i added a chrome material to that as well and now i wanted to add an environment texture by changing this shade editor tab from object to world and pressing shift a on my keyboard and searching for an environment texture and connecting those nodes together uh, i get all my hdris from polyhaven.com Lastly, I went ahead and just created a grass background. I felt like it kind of went best with this because um, it's a sneaker. I don't know. But yeah, this concludes the tutorial. Um, if you enjoyed this video and you learned something from it, please don't hesitate to like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Um, and please let me know what type of videos you want to see. Like, do you guys want to see me create this grass like what do you guys want to see because sometimes i go blank and i'm really trying to be consistent with youtube and sometimes i just don't have ideas bye